Welcome back everybody to another pomade review. Today we'll be talking about another oil-based pomade, a light hold pomade that's been in the home receipt for quite a while already, but I believe that this one doesn't really get the recognition it deserves because I really do love it a lot and it is Big Slick's Light Pomade. This is the travel size version that I got from Pomade Club along with a lot of other pomades more than a year ago, but I never got to reviewing this one till now. So let's get right into it. Now this is the travel size version, so it still has the um, old sticker label on it. The new ones, I believe that they're actually printed on the, um, the lid itself with light hole just printed under it in yellow. But this one still keeps the, um, the old sticker label, much like the old designs with the playing card motives on top right, right over here. Now this one, it comes in just like all the Big Slick um, products, it comes in a metal tin with a cylindrical top. It's not a twist stop, so you have to pop it out. The scent is subtle, but I absolutely love it. It's sort of um, a sweet scent. It's amber, rum, and I don't exactly remember. It's amber, talc, and rum. That's what I remembered it being, according to the site description. And it is a nice, um, sweet, refreshing um, scent that's a little like a barbershop, but just with more sweetness to it. So this is what the pomade looks like. It's, it looks a little greasy with some waxness to it. It's an off-white color, much like the label is. Scooping it out is very easy. It's super creamy to scoop out. And you would feel some what if, um, it is definitely greasy. And you can definitely feel the um, coconut oil because coconut oil is one of those greasier, um, greasier carrier oils you find in pomades. A lot of home brewers are kind of um, scared to use coconut oil and you'd really see a lot of coconut oil in a lot of home brew products today because a lot of brewers will say that coconut oil is really greasy so if you use too much it's going to be excessively greasy. So um, props to the brewers on this one for adding coconut oil. I do know that there are some brewers out there such as Edwin from Ponce Out Dead. He loves using coconut oil and Palm Sun Dead is actually one of my all-time favorite um, pomade companies and Edwin al always um, balances out the coconut oils in this formula is really well. So the thing about coconut oil, if you, you can't go overboard on it because if you use too much, the pomade will be excessively greasy, but this one obviously has a greenness, greasiness to it, but it has the um, greasiness you would expect from a decent quality for a light pomade. And it has, you can immediately feel the nice likeness to it as you apply it to hair. It goes in really easy, like nothing, of course. It's super creamy to scoop out and apply. But right off the bat, you can pretty much feel the slickness already in this product, even from the, um, as you just apply them with your hands. Now I'll just take one more tiny lick, and that's enough pomade in the hair for today. So as I was saying about the uh, coconut oil ratios, making it too greasy, the um, ratio of coconut oil in this, in this one is also one. I also say it's great because it absolutely does feel greasy in your hands, but once you apply it to your hair, it still does feel greasy, but not like a gross greasiness. It's sort of like a cleaner feeling of, it's sort of like clean greasiness. A clean, greasy feeling, not like a gross, greasy feeling you would get in a lot of classic pomades. And I believe that Vincent and Magdalena did a really good job in creating this formula. And the formula hasn't changed at all since it was released, I believe, in late 2015. So the comb lines are really smooth. And you can see that I'm forming the part really easily right now. And there is a lot of slickness in here. It's very easy to um, see all the smooth comb lines as I tuck my sides back. And what I really like about this light pomade is that it's also not sort of um, a fragile, how do you say it, um, a brittle, a brittle light hold where 
you would instantly, with some light hold pommets, you would instantly get a loss of hold or your palm would just start breaking apart. With this one, you would start to feel at least there is some hold. Like, a light hold doesn't mean no hold, it does mean there is hold, but just quite some. And this absolutely does show that. And being a lightweight pomade, you can get a decent height out of this one. It doesn't weigh your hair down too much. And given the amount of slickness it has, you would expect a beautiful amount of control on this for a light hold pomade. I mean, it obviously won't give you the control of a medium hold, but for a light pomade, it does give you a really nice amount of control. And being lightweight, you can also expect that it'll give you a really natural shape as well. Now the shine in this one, stereotypically, um, light hold pomades give really high and greasy shines, but the shine in this one is also very well moderated and controlled in a way that it doesn't give you stupid amounts of blinding shine. It's not sort of like a very wet shine. Honestly, the shine of this is somewhere between, um, it sits happily between a medium and a high shine. And it gives you a really nice shine without looking wet or super greasy. It gives sort of like a nice healthy looking shine, just a bit of an oily sheen to it, but it's not very wet. It's a nice balance between sort of like a, a more a slightly wet and a healthy shine without being too extreme on the wet shine. So, I guess I can say that I'm done right now. Well, I just need to adjust the back side a little. I always struggle with that. So let's um, take a look. So you can see for a light pomade, I get sort of a nice height. It's sort of not a low height, but sort of like slightly above average with a really nice um, forward and round palm shape. Sides nicely tucked back, but not too tight. And I just really like how it looks when you unpart the side. Very sturdy palm shape, and the hold in this is indeed quite sturdy for a light. This is also designed to um, give you sort of an easier washout for an oil based pomade. I didn't exactly take a look at the ingredients, and this travel size version does not have the ingredients printed on it. But from what I can testify, this pomade indeed does come out really, really easily. Um, at most, it would only take you two rounds of shampoo to get it out. With no conditioner, it'll get you two rounds, but with conditioner, it'll, you can get it out with just one round of shampoo, one round of conditioner. Everything is completely knocked out of your hair. And the buildup on it's actually very light. It feels a little greasy um, on the first um, application, I mean, when you put it in. But like I said, sort of a clean greasiness that's very well balanced, but does not go super gross. So you expect the build it to be quite clean as well. And it is indeed a very light, but a clean build up, which I really do like, but it kind of leaves you, it doesn't add too much hold or too much lightness the next day, but there is definitely something if you, if you don't use conditioner at all, but it's a very light amount of buildup. But overall, this is an amazing light hold pommy. Now about the hold itself, it's also, somewhere between a light and a medium. It's just somewhere around that level. I mean, in, a, in cold weather, like right now, it actually does hold really well. Obviously, it's being a light old palm, you do have to recomb at some point of the day, but you don't really have to recomb so much and it'll last you enough hours and quite enough time so that it won't just fall apart immediately or really soon like you would get with a lot of other light old pomades. So this is just, Absolutely um, a great hold for what a light pomade should be, in my opinion. It definitely is light, it does feel lightweight, but it does not fall apart too instantaneously. So all in all, Big Slick's light pomade is an amazing light hold pomade. I mean, it has a really good amount of slickness without being too overly slick. I mean, my sides are not incredibly tight, but at least it tucks it back nicely, and you can see the really obvious clean um, comb lines that 
it constructed decent amount of height and the shine is also um, good for those who don't like anything too greasy and for those who love buildup and those who don't really like having product in their hair overnight this is also a perfect balance it's like perfect yin yang between these two um, these two types of individuals because you can opt for it either a really light and clean buildup or you can wash it off just really easily and I really do like the amount of control which makes it a pleasure to style with this light hold pomade so all in all this is a light pomade that whether you like light pomades or not this is something you must not miss out if you are an avid pomade user so with that being said if you enjoyed this review please leave a like comment subscribe to this channel click on the bell icon so you don't miss a single upload of the squinny show and i'll see you next time on the squinny show